Hello and welcome to part 5 of our hands-on tutorial series. In this video we'll shoot green screen and comp in a 360 degree background which moves according to the camera motion. Next we'll record our live composition and transfer it into post including all metadata. We'll start in the construct tab. Here we have already loaded a clip that we want to use to replace the green screen from the live camera SDI feed. So let's create our live setup choosing green screen with background mode, drop in the background clip and make sure that the Echo Rectangular option is enabled. By clicking Create, we'll jump into the LiveFX tab. Now first things first. With the primary layer selected in the layer stack, let's go to the Video Capture menu and set the camera type to make sure we capture all the camera metadata correctly through SDI. If we switch to the metadata stack and refresh it by swiping it away and back in, we can now see all the metadata coming through from the camera via SDI. Next, let's refine our Kia a bit. Select the green screen by drawing a rectangle and optimize it using the gain control. By expanding the key we can easily get rid of some unwanted edges around the talent. Speaking of which, let's blend in our talent a bit more with the background. Dial down the saturation and use the curves to desaturate yellow tones in particular a little bit more. Very good. Now let's position our talent with the background. For that we select the background layer Go to the LiveFX menu and open up the LiveLinks panel. We have an Intel RealSense camera tracker mounted to our Panasonic camera and have it already activated here and the tracking data is coming in as expected. Now let's link that tracking data to the background projection. With the background layer selected, open the EQ to 2D menu and flip the animation into live mode. Now we can click the link button and select the parameters that we want to link on the far left yaw, pitch and roll of the 360 degree footage. Through the Live Sources drop down we can now link the incoming tracking data to these three parameters. However, in this particular case we need to actually invert the movement so that the background moves to the left if we pan the camera to the right. To now position our character in the scene we can simply add an offset. Lastly, let's adjust the field of view a little. Perfect. Now we're ready to record the scene. Back in the LiveFX menu, we switch to the Record tab. Next to specifying the location on disk that our recordings should go to and the file name specification, we can also choose the format to record in. H.264, Avid DNX and also Apple ProRes. The 444 flavors can even record the alpha channel from the Kia along with the RGB image. Of course, LiveFX also allows to record audio along the way. The capture device can be selected here in the audio panel capture tab and even be delayed if need be. Now by default we record the baked composite as one complete shot. We'll show the other option in just a second. And then we have a few other options. The first option tells LiveFX to immediately load back the recorded file for instant review. The second option creates an additional sidecar file with all the dynamic metadata in it, ready to be used by VFX later in post. And the third option tells LiveFX to automatically update the take number after each recording. Let's hit record and do a little pan with the camera. As we can see, the background is moving according to the camera movement. Very nice. Done, let's stop the recording. As we can see the recorded file is loaded back into the project and can be played back instantly. Just select it in the version stack in order to play it. And also the recorded sidecar file is here, saved right next to the corresponding ProRes file. All the LiveLink data is in there, even the XYZ positional data which we did not even use in our composite was recorded. Back to LiveFX, let's open the metadata stack. As we can see, the take number has been increased to number 2, so we're ready to shoot the next take. For the next scenario, we'll change the record option to record the source. 
Also, we're going to use the auto record mode, so once we press record on the camera, a record trigger is sent down the SDI signal, which LiveFX picks up and starts recording at the same time the camera does. So, let's redo our exercise from before and do a quick pan movement with the camera. Great, and hit the stop button on the camera itself. LiveFX automatically stops recording as well. Now we can see that another version of the shot was loaded into the version stack. But when looking at it closely, we can see that it is still an open composite. Nothing is baked in and we still have access to every element in the composite. The individual grade, the various layers, and also the node tray with all the individual sources. Of course, also the animations have been stored. We can now go ahead and for instance select the background layer to take a look at the yaw animation that we created during the live recording. As you can see, all the keyframes are there, and by dragging the animate button over to the yaw parameter, we can have LiveFX show us this particular animation channel and let us tweak and refine it even further by tweaking single keyframes or changing the whole animation using our animation filters. We call this an offline comp. Basically a duplicate of the live composite, but with the live input swapped against the just recorded source files. As impressive as this is, we can take this even further. Let's have a quick look at this diagram. We start with the live composite, which uses CGI elements and the live camera SDI feed as its inputs and creates the previs of the composite right on set. By simply recording the live composite in source capture mode, we just created the so-called offline comp, which then uses the recorded source files instead of the live camera feeds for its input. Thanks to the metadata sidecar file that LiveFX created, we can still tweak any parameter or animation channel and render out the result as H.264s for online review or even edit ready ProRes files. However, normally DITs like to create dailies from the actual camera raw files. And of course, our SDI recording is only done in HD, whereas the original camera media has higher resolution and better quality. So how about we turn this offline comp into an online comp, swapping the recorded source files against the actual camera media. From the online comp we can not only render metadata rich dailies, but also high quality OpenEXR VFX plates that even include all the frame based metadata we have been recording. No worries, it'll only take a couple clicks. As you can see, we are now offline. The live comp shows a black frame. We have downloaded the camera media from the camera cards and into a separate timeline called Source in our example. If we play it, you can tell that it's recorded at UHD resolution and has no other elements comped in whatsoever. Back to our offline comp. Let's select it and hit the Source Compositions button right here. Next, we have to tell LiveFX where to find the media that we want to link in. It can be directly from a folder or from the project. In this case, we will point it to look for the media inside the source timeline. Now hit Start Matching and LiveFX will find the clip in question. With the target set to create a new timeline, let's hit Assemble. And there's our online composite in UHD resolution, highest possible quality and all animation data. We can still refine the key, tweak the animation of the background and of course also change the grade before rendering this out as dailies. Isn't this much nicer for the editor and the client to look at instead of just a green screen plate? This was a brief overview of recording and the composition workflow in LiveFX. In a real production environment, the compositions might be more complex with multiple live inputs into a composition, more advanced grades and plugin setups, or even interactions with other compositors like Nuke or After Effects. The LiveFX workflow, however, remains the same. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.